Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today we're checking out my favorite new feature to Scalar 2.5. Scalar 2.5 came out, I believe two weeks ago. It is a free update for all Scalar 2 owners. So if you already have Scalar 2, head over to your Plugin Boutique account and download the update today. The feature we're gonna be talking about in this video is this suggest feature. It is absolutely mind blowing. So the first thing I wanna do is come in here and choose Contemporary R&B. This is a new chord set. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose that. Okay, really great chord set, pretty long one as well. What I'm gonna do is just take this E major seventh and drag it down here to my chord progression editor or sequencer. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually just come over to voice grouping and turn humanizing on, just because I like the way that that feels, right? Voice grouping off, voice grouping on. Yes, sir. Next thing I wanna do is hit suggest. As soon as I hit suggest, I'm presented with this window and you'll see that I have a bunch of chords here, a bunch of chords. Now we have two different sets of chords we can choose from. We have tonal and per scale. If I go to per scale, you'll notice that everything is blue and what that means inside of scalar, obviously, for those that didn't know, is that it fits inside of the scale we're working with. Now the detected scale as of right now is E major, and that makes sense because our only chord in our progression right now is an E major seven, so that makes perfect sense. So if we're looking to color inside the lines, go ahead and choose per scale and then just decide which one fits best. But what I really like is the tonal. Now you'll see that some of these are light gray, and if I scroll over to the right, we even have dark gray. Light gray means that it has some keys that are inside of the selected scale or the detected scale, and the dark ones mean it has nothing in common. However, if it's inside of the suggested line right here, there is a relationship, and this has all been mapped by professionals, people who've been classically trained with music theory, the people behind Scalar itself, so we can assume right out of the gate that those will sound good together. Okay, there is a relationship there, but what I actually wanna do is just find another one and begin my progression so I can show you more about this new feature. All right, so I'm liking that progression. Take it and add it down here. Now you'll notice that everything was automatically updated and that's because right now this one is selected. So it's gonna show me a suggested next chord depending on what I have selected. Now I can jump back here and say, you know, what else is really gonna drive with my main chord here? And I can go back to that. Well, let's just keep rocking with D7. Before I jump in and choose my next chord, I'm also gonna turn on auto detect. Now, when I turn this on, I want you to pay attention to the detected scale over here. Look what's happened. It's now detected that because of the two chords I have, we now are in the E Lydian number two scale. Now also pay attention that this used to be light gray, but now it's actually blue. So these are inside of this scale 100%, which is just mind blowing to me, okay? I heard from the suggested box that that D sharp seven really sounded good in conjunction with that E major seven, but that gray might've usually made me apprehensive on whether or not to choose it, but I did anyway, just cause it sounded right to me. And look what's happened now that I have auto detect on, it's telling me, yeah, you're just in a different scale, but those work absolutely well together. You're not always gonna get a 100% match, but that doesn't matter. As long as your ears say it sounds good, that's all that matters in the end. So let's pick another chord here to go along with our progression. Let's just keep going up. Uh, you'll notice again that it's, updated again because I have auto detect on and now we're in the E Lydian mode and the D sharp seven is slightly outside of that, but don't worry. As long as it sounds good, we're gonna keep trucking. So I'm gonna just go ahead and choose one more. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna right click and let's just listen to the, the progression that we have. That 
I think that sounds absolutely wonderful. And it's something I would never come up with on my own because of, again, my apprehension with seeing a non-blue chord inside of my progression. But it sounds great. And I have faith in the architects of Scalar 2 that that is theoretically absolutely correct. So the next new feature I want to point out here, it gets better, yes. If I come to where it says pattern, I can hit fill. Watch what happens down here. It's now given me a, a further chord progression. It also says that now we're closest to A flat major. Let's see what it sounds like when I play this loop now. So let's say I didn't like this E flat major. If I right click, I can come in and look for some substitutions. And if I didn't like it, I could easily come back in here to suggest, click right here and start again. And boom, we've got a better progression or something that is definitely usable and truly unique. Trust me when I say I would never come up with that without this suggest feature inside of Scalar 2.5. Another cool thing I'll do, in fact, let me just come down here and just delete all of this for a second. And let's say, let's turn off voice grouping for a second. Let's just put the A major seven back here, come into suggest, come into pattern and hit fill here. Now it's giving me a completely random to me, but yet perfectly fine chord progression based on the algorithms inside of Scalar 2.5. Let's listen to what it sounds like. I mean, it sounds fantastic. So that's how great the suggest feature is. You can either do it one chord at a time to decide how much you want your hands on it and how much you decide what the progression is, or you can just put one chord in down there and say fill, and it will fill it for you with a completely great sounding and unique chord progression. Anyway, I'm absolutely crazy about the new suggest feature. More videos coming on Scalar 2.5 shortly. Links in the video description for everything that you need to know about. I'm Joshua Casper, and I'll see you in the next video.